Key points. Chipmunks are the smallest member of the squirrel family. Chipmunks are omnivores with a diet that includes seeds, fruit, bird eggs, nuts, and insects. Most chipmunks live in North America, with one exception. They climb trees and live in forest habitats. One chipmunk can collect 165 acorns per day. Chipmunks are small mammals that live in burrows, fallen logs, or holes under houses. This rodent is the tiniest member of the squirrel family. They are omnivores eating a variety of plants and small animals. Chipmunks have a collection of chirps and other sounds they use to communicate with one another. They have a lifespan of two to three years. Five incredible chipmunk facts. There are 25 species or types. While foraging during the day, this rodent stuffs food into pouches in its cheeks. This animal remains in its burrow over the winter. A chipmunk baby is the size of a jelly bean. They live in tunnel systems measuring up to 30 feet in length. Evolution and Origins Chipmunks are a part of the squirrel family and actually split off from rats and mice close to 70 million years ago. Scientists think they probably evolved their stripes independently from rats and mice. The only species of chipmunks that isn't native to North America is the Siberian chipmunk as indicated by its name. The name chipmunk is derived from their behavior to wake up to eat stored food. They get their name from the chip-chip sound they make while eating. Different types of chipmunks. Here is a full list of chipmunks. Eastern chipmunk. Siberian chipmunk. Least chipmunk. Red-tailed chipmunk. Yellow pine chipmunk. Colorado chipmunk. Lodgepole chipmunk. Hopi chipmunk. Townsend's chipmunk. California chipmunk. Buller's chipmunk. Panamint chipmunk. Long-eared chipmunk. Gray-collared chipmunk. Alpine chipmunk. Cliff chipmunk. Uinta chipmunk. Merriam's chipmunk. Allen's chipmunk. Palmer's chipmunk. Sonoma chipmunk. Yellow-cheeked chipmunk. Gray-footed chipmunk. Durango chipmunk. Siskiyou chipmunk. Scientific name. The scientific name for an eastern chipmunk is to me is striatus. The Latin word striatus means streaks. This refers to the stripes on an eastern chipmunk's back. Chipmunks can also be classed into three different genera, the eastern chipmunk, the Siberian chipmunk, and the Neotamias. This last genus contains 23 different species that live in the western U.S. Because all chipmunks are so similar, there is disagreement about whether they should be classified as different genera or just refer to all of them as the same. Chipmunks are sometimes called striped squirrels or timber tigers. They belong to the Siuridae family and the Mammalia class. There are 25 species or types. Some of these include Eastern Chipmunk Siberian Chipmunk Townsend's Chipmunk Uinta Chipmunk Red-tailed Chipmunk Colorado Chipmunk Appearance and Behavior One of the most recognized species is the Eastern Chipmunk. It has two tiny black eyes and a coat of reddish-brown fur featuring five light brown and dark brown stripes on its back. Also, this species has a light brown stripe near each ear and a dark tail. This animal's fur can be brown, reddish-brown, or gray depending on what type it is. This rodent uses its delicate claws to dig holes and climb trees. In addition, these animals have pouches in their cheeks that they fill up with nuts, fruit, seeds, and more. These pouches allow them to take a large supply of food back to their home after spending time foraging in the open. Understandably, the less time the animal spends out in the open, the less vulnerable they are to predators. These animals can sometimes become
become quite a pest in the home and need to be removed then. A grown chipmunk measures from 4 to 7 inches in length with a tail that adds another 3 to 5 inches. They weigh anywhere from 1 to 5 ounces. A 5-ounce animal weighs the same as a baseball used in the major leagues. An average-sized chipmunk measuring 4 inches in length is almost as long as two golf tees lined up end-to-end. -end. The biggest species is the eastern chipmunk. An adult eastern chipmunk measures about 11 inches long, from the tip of its nose to the tip of its bristly tail. When it comes to defensive features, the dark coat of these animals allows them to blend in with their woodland habitat. Also, its speed can help this rodent to outrun some predators and find a hole to hide in. Though chipmunks may not live right next to one another, they communicate with others in the same territory. These animals have a variety of calls or sounds that mean different things. Some chirping sounds let other chipmunks know a predator is in the area. Other chirping sounds are made by males as they compete with each other for a female. In other words, they have their own rodent language. These rodents are solitary animals. They are only together during the breeding season. They are shy rodents that want to stay out of sight most of the time. When chipmunks do form a group, it is called a scurry. Chipmunk versus Squirrel A chipmunk is a type of squirrel so there are a lot of similarities between these two rodents. Of course, there are some differences as well. Both chipmunks and squirrels, aka tree squirrels, are omnivores with a diet that includes seeds, fruit, bird eggs, nuts, and insects. Also, both rodents climb trees and have a forest habitat. One of the main differences between them is their size. Tree squirrels are larger measuring up to 20 inches long from their nose to the tip of their tail. Another difference is while chipmunks have stripes down their back, tree squirrels have solid gray or brown fur. As a note, there's another rodent called a ground squirrel that looks a lot like these animals. But they are not the same animal. One easy way to tell them apart is a chipmunk's small ears stand up on its head, while a ground squirrel's small ears lay flat. Also, ground squirrels live in grassy areas and fields while chipmunks are found in woodland areas. Habitat Most of these animals live somewhere in North America. One species, the Siberian chipmunk, lives in the northern region of Asia. Specifically, wherever you find trees in North America, you're likely to find animals. They can also live in fallen logs and in holes under houses. Many species live in tunnels located three feet beneath the ground. These animals are found in a temperate climate. If they live in an area with really cold winters, they will go into hibernation. However, these rodents don't go to sleep in the wintertime as bears do. Instead, they sleep on and off while surviving on the nuts and seeds they collected throughout the warm weather months. Seeing the animal out of its shelter in the wintertime is a rare occurrence. They go into hibernation in late October and come out in March or April. These animals sometimes migrate when they need to find a place with better access to water. Diet These animals are omnivores. They eat whatever is most plentiful in their habitat. What eats chipmunks? Not surprisingly, these animals have a lot of predators. These include hawks, snakes, raccoons, rats, weasels, coyotes, and owls. What do chipmunks eat? They eat fruit, nuts, seeds, insects, snails, birds' eggs, and frogs. It's not uncommon to see an eastern chipmunk and other types of chipmunks in North America chowing down at a backyard bird feeder. Items not eaten by the animal are stuffed into its cheek pouches and taken back to the nest to store for winter. Pred predators and threats These animals are an important food source for many animals. So, it has a long list of predators. Some examples include hawks, snakes, raccoons, rats, weasels, coyotes, and owls. Of course, they also fall prey to house cats from time to time. Many of these rodents' predators are fast and live in the same type of environment. 
For example, a coyote may stalk a chipmunk and sneak up on it while it's foraging in the open. A hawk can easily see the animal foraging for food on the ground and swoop down to grab it. A snake can pursue the rodent by following it into its tunnel as the rodent tries to escape. It's not uncommon to see these animals dead on the road. They live in the same areas as many humans, so they are vulnerable to passing cars. Some humans think of them as pests. A pest control technician may be called in to set a trap to catch one or more chipmunks that are living in a hole beneath a home or beneath a home's roof. The presence of chipmunk poop in the area is a sure sign that a chipmunk is occupying the space. A pest control professional may use a trap that kills the rodent. Alternatively, some pest professionals use humane methods and trap them alive so they can be moved to another location away from the residential area. The conservation status of the eastern chipmunk is least concern. Its population is stable. Reproduction, babies, and lifespan. The breeding season of an eastern chipmunk takes place twice a year. They breed from February to April and from June to August. Females release a scent when they are ready to mate. Sometimes males fight over females during this active season. One male may mate with several females. The gestation period is 31 days. As a comparison, the gestation period of the eastern gray squirrel is a little longer at 44 days. Most of these animals give birth to two to six live babies, also called pups. However, it's possible for them to have up to nine pups in a litter. A baby chipmunk or pup weighs less than an ounce. The size of a newborn animal is about the same as one jelly bean. They are born blind and without any hair. The pups stay out of sight in the burrow for the first six weeks of life. They nurse their mother during that time. The father doesn't play a part in the care of the pups. At about six weeks old, the pups venture out of the burrow with their mother to learn how to forage for food. The pups have a full coat of fur and can live independently at around eight weeks old. Chipmunks can carry fleas and ticks. These rodents can also carry diseases such as leptospirosis, salmonella, and even rabies. Chipmunks have a lifespan of two to three years. Population The IUCN Red List of Threatened Species describes the population of eastern chipmunks as abundant. Also, it's estimated that there are from 1 to 15 chipmunks per acre, depending on the area. The conservation status of the eastern chipmunk is least concerned with a...